Hey guys, what I have here today is the 2014 Audi Q7 3.0T with Quattro Tiptronic. With its coupe like silver hood and sweeping roofline, the 2014 Audi Q7 is an elegant SUV that's worthy of an Audi name. Step inside and experience finely crafted material and driver centric design. Step on the accelerator and feel the result of confident, inspiring Audi Quattro all-wheel drive. This is an exciting vehicle that happens to fit 7 passengers. Beauty is in the details. Take a closer look and discover why every Audi is worthy of wearing the four rings. Followed by the progressive lines through the subtle curve to the distinctive profile, the interplay yields an aerodynamic progress ideal for cutting through the wind. The Audi Q7 boasts fine craftsmanship and obsessive detail to create an elegant and sporty SUV with room for 7. The Q7 retains a muscular coupe-like profile in a shape that other SUV envy. Available Audi Lightning technologies draw attention and perform brilliantly, striking LED daytime running lights stand out to the other driver from dawn until dusk. An available adaptive Xenon Plus headlight pivot up to 15 degree in response to steering input to better shine onto curve ahead. Retractable headlight washer and park assist are also built into the front bumper. Here is the specific Audi single frame grilled made with all chrome very nice here is a closer look at the LED turn signal light beautiful headlights as well as the LED daytime running lights. The designer of the Q7 did an awesome job on the lightning that accentuate the Audi Q7. This particular model comes with 20 inch 10 spoke V design wheels with 275 45 all season tires. Supercharged badge on both fenders. Side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal light. The Audi Q7 features tons of chrome accenting trims. You can find it on the door handles, on the side, as well as the front grille and the back including the aluminum roof rails it also have chrome trims running across both roof rails to the back you can see the LED tail lamps LED turn signal lamp and LED brake lamp all the LED tail lamps illuminate more quickly than traditional incandescent bulbs helping to give driver behind you more time to respond and could also prevent a crash. There is the Audi badge. And the backup camera. Right there. Alright, as I mentioned earlier about the chrome trim, there you can see one for the back as well as the dual chrome tail pipes. Also come with the towing kit. And here's another look at the LED tail lamps. Here on the key we have the unlock button, trunk opener, lock as well as panic button. Alright, the car does come with smart access key system. Press the button on the door handle once to lock. After a few seconds, put your hand on the door handle to unlock. 
The interior features cardamom beige interior color and dark brown walnut wood trim on the dash and door panels as well as the center console. Alright, let's start it up and see how it sounds. Alright, you can start the car by inserting the key and turn it to turn it on. Or you can also have the key inside the car with your foot on the brake and push the start button located on the center console to start the vehicle. Okay, let's give it a few ref and see how it sounds. Alright, let's pop the hood and see what I have to offer. Under the hood is a 3 liter supercharged V6 engine with 8 speed Tiptronic transmission Audi Quattro all wheel drive, pushing out 280 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque. 24 valve DOHT and supercharged TFSI fuel injection can hit from 0 to 60 in 7.7 .7 seconds. Top speed is limited to 130 miles per hour. EPA estimated fuel economy is 16 city, 22 highway, and 18 combined, which is not bad at all for the vehicle. Alright, now I'll go over the interior in details for you guys. All four windows are fully automatic. Here's the lock and unlock button. And two position memory settings. Down in the door storage compartment we have a cup holder and the trunk release button. Both speaker surround sound system. Both driver and passenger seats get 12-way power front seats, including 4-way power lumbar adjustment. Both front seats does offer heated options. Okay, there is your pedal, as well as your parking brake. The steering wheel is fully wrapped in leather with silver aluminum trim accents featuring tilt and telescopic steering column and built-in multi-function control side by side so that you don't have to take your hands off the wheel for your convenience. Also comes with heated steering wheel options. Okay, here's the gauge. Light controlled driver side air vent with aluminum trim and here's the navigation screen with all the different function button side by side the double air vent multimedia controlled dual climate controlled for both driver and passenger Here's the little storage compartment located on each side of the gearbox is a 12 volt power outlet and the gearbox is also wrapped in leather Just press the button on the side move down for reverse once you're in reverse the backup camera will show on the display screen with guidance line for easier backup Alright, and pull down for neutral, down again for standard, I mean for drive, over to the right for standard, up and down to change gear. Pretty simple. 
here we have the start and stop button and down here is the control to your navigation screen as well as all the different function button volume controlled here at the knob you can turn around to move around screen you can also move up down right or left or press down to select it's pretty easy to use The Q7 comes with both surround sound system with 14 speakers and audio pilot, noise compensation, HD radio technology, Sirius XM satellite radio, Bluetooth wireless technology, and a lot of other features. Alright, here we have dual cup holder for driver and passenger and a little storage compartment and I think there's another one under here here's the dash with dark brown walnut wood trim and here's a closer look at the seat it is not perforated seat though it does have heated options for both front seats up here we have the universal garage door opener open and close sunshade button as well as the tilt button for the moonroof Panoramic sunroof offer passengers a very open field once the shades are open. It goes from the front seats to the third row seat, which gives onboard passenger a nice sky view. A very nice option to have. Alright, again the light controlled. sunglasses holder sun visor mirror with a card holder alright let's take a look at the back pretty spacious in the back Here at the rear door, we have a ashtray, automatic window, lock button, also a sunshade for both rear windows. <coughs> Second row offers seats for three. And there is another uh, row in the back for another two person, which make it a seven passenger vehicle. And here's a view to the front cabins. Really nice. All right, the back offer a lot of features as well. We have dual air vent. 212 volt power outlet and dual climate control for the rear passenger as well as heated seat options there is plenty of leg rooms in the back right as I mentioned earlier the panoramic roof offer a very open field for the rear passenger as well as the third row passenger here we have the light controlled as well as the close and open sunshade button very cool 
And for the third row passenger, there isn't a button to close or open the sunshade, but you can do it manually with a touch of a finger. And you can also tilt the roof for the third row passenger. Again, that's the light. In the middle, we have the armrest. With two cup holder. Alright, here's the look to the back. The third row can be folded down for additional cargo space if you don't use the seat. Very spacious and a lot of cargo space. And you can fold down the second row as well if you don't use it for an additional cargo space. Like that. Very nice. Alright, let's take a look at the trunk. The trunk offers a good amount of cargo space itself, but thanks to the sliding second row seats and flat folding seat stowing, the Q7 makes the most of its 88 cubic feet of cargo space, easily accessed via a power tailgate. Very nice. Here's another 12 volt outlet in the back. Additional cargo space under that. One touch open close tailgate. The Audi Q7 offer plenty of rooms for the front passengers and second row passengers, but the third row is suitable for kids only. It is not as spacious as the second row. Alright, let's take another look at the front cabins. The front seats are superb with power adjustment in most directions. The driver's seat is comfortable and most drivers should find the driving position nearly perfect. The second row offer 40, 20, 40 split rear bench seats, allow cargoes and passenger flexibility. Alright, like I mentioned earlier, the front does have a lot of uh, leg rooms and a lot of space. Overall, the Q7 makes a very good family SUV for family with a lot of kids. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future videos. And please give me a comment below letting me know what you guys think about the 2014 Audi Q7. And I'll see you guys next time.